The bad news is that a new strain of the coronavirus racing across England appears to be more infectious than the original. The good news is it doesn't seem to make people any more sick. The best news might be that vaccine makers routinely take mutations into account. Seasonal influenza vaccines, for example, include a variety of viral strains already circulating and allow for some that could develop later. Melissa Nolan, an infectious disease expert and professor at the University of South Carolina, said the coronavirus vaccine designers expected that the virus would mutate and have included various predictions of viral strains. These changes in the viral composition are expected, Nolan told USA Today. At the moment we have not seen any dramatic genetic shifts of concern. Obaniya Omenka, an associate professor and public health specialist at Butler University in Indianapolis, said a variant of the coronavirus had been reported to be circulating in parts of China. This new strain may not be the last, Omenka said. I think we should be vigilant, not worried. First Moderna vaccines roll out, $900 billion stimulus deal near, Biden getting vaccinated the new strain, not yet detected in the US, is drawing attention just as vaccines are being rolled out around the world. American health care workers began getting vaccinated with Pfizer's product a week ago. This week, Moderna's vaccine becomes available. President-elect Joe Biden is scheduled to be vaccinated Monday. The vaccines are considered crucial to ultimately crush the pandemic now roaring virtually undeterred around most of the world. No nation is struggling more than the US, where each day brings another 200,000 infections, and often more than 2,000 deaths. Vivek Murthy, Biden's nominee for Surgeon General, on Sunday urged Americans not to let concerns over the new strain shake their faith in vaccination. There's no reason to believe that the vaccines that have been developed will not be effective against this virus as well, Murthy said on NBC's Meet the Press. Eric Choi Pena, a physician and director of Global Health, Northwell Health, in New Hyde Park on Long Island, New York, says the new strain shouldn't delay the timeline for a return to a version of normalcy later this year. I think this is still to be seen how big of a deal this will be, Choi Pena said. Mutations are random, and sometimes they fizzle out when we are expecting them to become dominant. Still, a virus strain that spreads even more readily than what the world already has been facing is ominous. British Health Secretary Matt Hancock said the infection was, out of control, in southern England. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who described the new strain as 70% more transmissible than the original, ordered tighter restrictions and dropped a much-anticipated relaxation of rules that had been set to kick in across much of England ahead of the holidays.